Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Super Bomberman 2. Uh, last video we started Brain Bomber's World. A very complex level where enemies hide within the blocks of the level. So we have to be very careful when we're bombing our way through. Because we don't want to get trapped by a stupid enemy idiot. Okay, like there's one right there. Boom. You dead. You dead, son. Okay, so, I'm um, not sure how far I'll get in this video. I'd like to at least make it to the mini-boss, but... Eh, who knows, I might be stretching it a bit by just saying that. I mean, I suppose it's possible, but... Eh, with this game, who knows. Oh, no, 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 come on, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! That was close. Okay. I have to be very careful with how I deal with this guy. Actually, okay, that works. Never mind. <laughs> I forgot I had that punching power up. So let's just, you know, throw bombs over here without actually, you know, going over there. And this activates the switch that's over here. Now, as you can see, the exit is plainly open. But, there is actually something over here you can get. It's kind of a secret of sorts. But you have to be kind of careful here. Because if you do this wrong, then, um, well, you suck, basically. Anyways, if you go up here, and you destroy those blocks, you'll destroy the stairs, but there's a 1-up over there. So if you don't destroy the stairs, then, uh, yeah, you can get a 1-up. But, oh well, not a big deal. I have, well, I only have one life, well, one extra life, but still... Okay, so, let's just in the level. Sorry if I got kind of, like, off my train of thought right there. Uh, my phone was ringing, and, uh, I was trying to listen to the answering machine. I would have picked it up, but I don't feel like stopping the recording, and... I don't think it would be an emergency or anything. Anyways, let's continue on with this level, or this world, whatever you want to call it. We have uh, my good friend Time Bombs now, which is really nice. It's been a while since I've actually had the Time Bombs. I don't think I've actually had them since, uh... Well, actually, I don't remember. I don't remember if I had them in World 3 or not. Because I know I died in 3-6. It was a very unfortunate death where I drowned, but... I don't really remember if I had remote bombs. I know I had the Walk Over Walls power-up, which... I'm still kind of pissed off that I lost that. Eh, whatever. No real need to cry about it, I guess. Anyways, well, I'm... Oh! I'm a... Oh, damn it! Why'd I do that? I set it off by accidentally. But as you can see, there is a 1-up over there. Not sure if I'll be able to get over to it in time, but... It would be nice if I could. Oh, jeez. Fake bomb. Boom. Get out of my house. Okay, so... Now... Okay, well... Oh! Wow, the extra life actually came all the way down here. And now it's going back the other way, which sucks. Oh, come on. Come back the other way. Come on, extra life! Come back here! Yeah, I gotcha! Okay, good. I'm glad I got that, because I would have really... Another one! Another one! Okay, wow. I guess this is the extra life level, I guess. So, you know what? I'm actually going to try to get these guys, because... I lost quite a bit of lives earlier on in the game, and it would be nice to get some extra ones. I would go over there, but I think that's kind of a death trap. So I'm not going to try to. Eh, I don't need that life. I'll just go on. I'm wasting too much time. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and blow these up. And go ahead and blow up more things. Although that's what you do in Super Bomberman. You blow up things. You do quite a bit of blowing up of things. Actually, have I destroyed all the enemies already? Okay, I did. Okay. Guess there's really no point in doing that. 
I was still looking for enemies. Okay, here we are, level 4-6, which means I might be able to finish this world, maybe. It's possible. I'm not gonna promise anything, but... It could happen. I am a believer. When I saw her face. Oh, God. I don't even know why I'm singing that song. I don't like that song, actually. When I was younger, that song was, like, so popular. And I never really understood why. Well... It's not that I didn't understand why, it was just that I never personally liked that song. I don't know. It was just kind of overplayed back in the day. Okay. Blow up more things, try to find some enemies. Like you. You are who I was referring to. And, alright. Let's move on to the other side now. If these platforms would stop being so dang slow. Jeez, it feels like I'm taking forever to do something I shouldn't be taking forever to do. Okay, not really sure why this is here. A shortcut? I have no idea. I really don't know the purpose of that, whatever it is. We'll find out momentarily, though, because I'm sure we have more enemies to destroy. In fact, let's see if there are any in these four blocks. There are, including Mr. Walking Eggman. This may be the last time we see Walking Eggman. Because this is level 4-6, which means that I'm almost done with this world. And look, another Walking Eggman. It wasn't the last time I saw him. He came back for one more hurrah. And there we go, let's fight the boss, or the mini-boss. Yeah, it's the mini-boss first, then the boss. Okay, so now we have Brain Bomber. Brain Bomber's a little unique. His bombs have very, very, very little firepower. However, unlike the other bombers, he's the only one who can actually set off his bombs. So, we're gonna have to be careful when we're moving through this level. And damn, he's gonna defeat that stupid heart. Damn it! He destroyed the heart. That little asshole. Why would he do that? Why would he do that? Just why? Tell me, game. Why? <laughs> I'm just gonna lay a bunch of bombs until he's in range. Like that. And there we go. Bomber defeated. I really wish I could have had that heart, though. I mean, I don't think this next boss fight's really that hard, but still would have been nice. So let's go ahead and beat up Brain Bomber's brainy inv invention. Where he has... Oh my god, it's a giant mechanical version of myself. How unique? I don't know. I wouldn't say I'm that impressed. Although, like nearly other, every other boss in this game... Damn it! Okay, thankfully I had a heart that I didn't know about, still. But yes, like most bosses in this game, this boss has the need to hurt himself with his own firepower. Which is... Eh, it's stupid of him to do that, but... It's good for me, I guess. Anyways, this boss doesn't take a genius to figure out, just play a bomb, and then run around him so he gets hit by the bomb. And yeah, that's really all there is to it. Brain Bomber defeated and only took one and a half videos to beat this world. I'm actually kind of impressed with myself. Okay, so we're off to the last world of the game. And seriously, yeah, this is the last world. Which means that only eight more levels and this game's completed. Uh, the leader of this world is Plasma Bomber. He's the leader of the group. You know him well. He's finally back to... Okay, now that's Donkey Kong. Never mind. Still, it was worth a shot to bring that song. I've always liked the DK rap. What? Oh, right, I forgot. This, this world's a pain. Because 
There are actually remote mines, and if you step on them, you die automatically, which sucks, but... Well, now I, now I remember that now, at least. Aw, oh, damn it! Boom, let's just kill myself, yay! Let's just waste all those lives I got in the last world, let's just waste them all. Unfortunately, I think I have to end the video here, like, right now, though, so... Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and try to defeat this enemy while I do my normal sign-out. This has been Slim Kirby. This has been Let's Play Super Bomberman 2. See you guys next time when I try to take on the rest of Plasma Bomber's domain. So, see you guys later.